Welcome back to the Rig Review. Today we're going to take a look at the Seagull. It's a free rig that you can get on CG Trader. As always, link in the description with all the information. You can go on that site. All that information is on the site. As always, you click free download. It takes about 20 seconds. If you have a CG Trader account, it's very easy to sign up. And of course, it's also listed on the Animation Beefy site alongside all the other rigs and rig reviews. And once you have it in Maya, when you open up the file, you get a notice for watermelon.ma that you can skip and you get a notice for a cone.ma file that you can skip as well because it's not needed and it's not there as always with rigs when you download them the textures are not there because the path structure is all messed up so you have to do is open up your hyper shade and in here you can see what is going on now as you go through you can see usually the black ones are the ones that are missing but as you go through you might look at a lambert 2 you can see there's something missing here it says Seagull UV PNG. I'm going to select the geometry and assign that to it. What happens then is that you got some weird transparency going on. So it's not quite right. There's also a big difference in terms of the texture. If you have color management on or off. As always, watch out for that. I'm going to turn it back on just in case, just for now. So what do you need to do is you need to change a couple of things manually, which is a bit of a bummer because that happened before on a previous version that I tested out and it's still not quote unquote fixed. Um, it's just something that you have to go through. So what I did to fix this, you can go through all the different shaders. You can see eyes corrected, eyes corrected, all that stuff. And here's I have a final model version. I use this one and then in here, wanted to do a file and then I don't want to point to that seagull UV and then I'm going to select the geometry and assign this to it. And that fixed it for me. If you have a better version for this, feel free to let me know. Now you still see the green geometry, meaning that you don't have the actual textures on there. So for that, what I did was I select the tongue and again, select this. It's there, it works. You just have to manually go in there and select this. So for the back feathers, you can select all of these, for instance, right click assign material to selection and it works and this goes for the rest so you might as well select the whole thing here and you can see as the textures are turned on now you can see for the body everything's okay now what i would not do is select the eyeball and do this because then you kind of get a white eyeball so how do you fix the eyes if you select this here and open up your outliner you can see that it actually is geometry that it says here do not texture so you can just take these and this is for the left and right eye going to hide these then you have left and right eye and then go back to your final model no uv the other one that i used assign material to selection and there you go and you can always bring back what you have here and that's your your eyeball right there you can see so there you go these are things that i would do and of course if there's a better way i'm to be honest not super knowledgeable when it comes to textures but that's what i did to fix the textures on that rig as always if you have a different method and a better method and a faster method let me know in the comments and that way we can fix this potentially in a faster way now that being said let's look at the controllers all right with the controllers on you can see in the layers you have controller and geometry layers on your right and you got a main controller here that gives you visibility for all the top bottom and tongue controllers on off and the same thing for body controllers on off i don't know why but as always i'm gonna start with the feet <laughs> again i don't know why you got your ik legs standard stuff you can rotate and as you rotate this you can see that it does actually not rotate the back side and for that you have these these are not connected but you have a heel lift you got a ball lift so you got lots of controls here the tilt on the side which is cool backside for a lean and the top spin you also have controllers but select these all together here and this is for all of these and then you have a spread on those as well same thing obviously for the other side then going around here you have the main route you can see it's a fairly light rig too main route for changes here and there are other options you can rotate and translate gives you stretchy legs in here you have the ik chest control so if you want to reform and reposition that for a better shape that is there then right above here you got chest control that takes the whole thing with it here same thing here so you have options for fk and with the spline control if you move the head here you can see it really pivots off that side 
and this is your neck IK control. So you want to stretch those things out and it pivots off of there. You have a roll that gives you some options there and a twist. Then you get a control up here that is your head control. So that has a higher pivot here that is only on rotations. You cannot translate. And on there, you have the watermelon on off, but since that is missing, it doesn't really matter. It's not like it's gone. You can change this here and nothing changes. Placement, all of this. And with the cone, this was part of a, a previous version of the rig. So you can change all of this and it doesn't really matter. I mean, you have visibility here on the head, but in terms of the props there, they are not around. But when you get closer, you have the smaller controllers here and that's for squash and stretch. You got a side here, you got a top one, and one again on the side here. It's very cool. Speaking on side, you have eye controllers and you have here changes in the lids. That's a tilt. You have pupil controls. You have blink bottom. So when you look at this and you actually blink, you can see how it's a bit funky in terms of the geometry, but that's because I am on one in terms of the geometry. Apology here, I can go back to three and it's just fine. So don't forget that you can change this and it doesn't really impact the performance too much. It's all fairly smooth. Now quickly, just going back to the eyes, when you select this, you wanna move it around, you have to look at the channel here and you can see that there is a constraint on this. So if you select the eye controller and they open up the outliner, you can see that there's a constraint. You can just kill that constraint and now you can move the eye around. I can key this, move forward here, move it around, key this and when you move around, this is animated. Now I did that before too and then it crashed and maybe I did something wrong by just deleting this control but you don't need that constraint for instance in terms of this to be attached to this controller. So I'm a bit ignorant about that solution here why this needs a constraint. If you have a better option or solution or just are not as ignorant as I am about this let me know in the comments and looking closer you have a lot of options here on the beak so you can change things through here you have lots of information options you same thing on the bottom one and you have even things on the side here where you can adjust in case you do a little bit of minimal lip sync not that it has lips here but you can still tweak things around which is very cool and again this is on both sides and even the tongue has a full control here to i guess you can hide it move it out or just animate the whole thing but going back to the head here again this is just rotation i don't see anything where you can have any changes as you do this that it changes the orientation of your head was kind of like the global world or head IK function here going on to here you don't have it either it's all that twisty stuff but when you go down and you squash it it has a deformation in the scale even a little bit of wrinkles on the back which is very cool but that's kind of it for the head Going back here, you have tail feathers. So you have overall feather controls where you can rotate. This goes all the way down to smaller controllers here. Lots of options for fluttering, all in rotations only. I don't see anything where you can do anything bigger in terms of uh, the tail manipulation, but you got all the rotations there for your tail. Now, speaking of feathers, you go back here to the wings. You have a bigger controller here that gives you fold options from 10 to zero. So you don't have to do this by hand. You can fold this out, which is very neat. Even with this folded, obviously you have access to this. You can still move things around here. Oh, well, let's go back and unfold these. And here you have the feather controls here. So you have rotations for this and then rotations for this section and so on. You can see it's fairly detailed. And if you look on the right, you also have bendy options, right? So you have your main control here, but on the side, you have options for this. You have options for the middle part. You have options for this and the inner. So there's stuff on the inside as well. So a ton of options there for the feathers and the wings. Main control here, you can translate just in case if you need this, but everything is there in terms of rotations. Like I said, here's the main controller. Same thing on the left for fold and unfold. Going back here, you do have a bit of a base tail option, kind of a butt control. It's almost a bit of a wiggle there if you want, but you can't translate. So if you do this, it's going to have some interesting information with the pivot. I wish you could translate this over. But as you look here and select this, you do have controls, visibility, 
for the feathers here. And this is the root, it's done something different here, and that's about it. Now, if you do want to actually move this around, you can select the controller here, go to Windows, General Editors, down to Channel Control. And here you can see that it's hidden down there. Take the translates and move them over to Keyable. And in here, you also want to take those and make them not locked. So now when you have this, you can select this, rotate it around, but also move it. So you don't have that, that broken look there in terms of the backside. There you have it. That is the rig in all of its glory. Now, if you have another rig that you want me to review, there's a link in the description with my email. It's rigs at animationbuffet.com. So if you have your own rig or you have a link to someone else's rig, or if you are a rig owner that has a site that sells rigs, and if you want to send me a review copy, that's also fine. Use the email as mentioned, and I will take a look at it. And that's it from me. Thank you. Thank you.